Hey, this is KK's Duct Tape Stuff. Today I'll be showing you how to make a duct tape cup. This will not be all duct tape, like most of my videos. You're going to need two empty duct tape rolls and cardboard. Okay, so your first step is to trace the cardboard with a pen or pencil or whatever. You just want to make the outside of the circle. So once you've done that, you want to just cut it out. Nothing will go your exacto knife faster than using it on this. Okay, so I've almost got it done. Okay, I'm just gonna throw away this. Then when I get another two duct tape rolls empty, I'm gonna use this to make another cup. Okay, so you can also use a hot glue gun for this, but I'm not. Okay, so you just want to put, get your roll and put it like this. You want to take one about six inches strip. You can have as many as you would like. I just need some to fill in around the edges here. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just want to get it around there. And you don't have to use zebra either. You could use any color you want. I'm just using zebra because that's one of the rules that I had. Poop. Shouldn't have done that. Don't do that. Okay. I messed up. Everybody messes up. Stack these two on each other. I did not know what I was thinking. Okay. Now I'm just going to put these two together. This, you can use a, you might need a friend or family member to help you with this. And then just wrap it around. I need another roll of zebra to cover the whole thing. Okay, so once you've got that, you have the cone cylinder thing. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take smaller pieces. I'm just going to cut the pieces. And I'm just going to stick them inside, all the way around. You might need to cut out more, or you might have too many. You don't need to fill it up all the way around. But I recommend you do.
Okay, I'm gonna need about one more. So. Okay, so once you have that, you're ready to move on to your next step. Okay, you wanna take another color, and this is what we're gonna use to connect the bottom. Okay, so you're going to cut out the same small strips. I'm going to use tie-dye. And you just want to cut smaller pieces. When you're doing this, try not to cut your fingers off. If you have an exacto knife. Because this will probably do that to your finger. It'll probably cut it off. Okay. So just fit it on, and then just stick them down. You can take this, you can cut it so that it will make it flex, let it flex. So I'm just going to make two little slits in it. Kind of make sure that's where I know where it is, so I can put it in there. Then just stick it down. Just like that. So just do that the whole way around. We'll start cleaning this up when at the end. So you don't have to worry about that. Okay, so once you have the bottom connected, I just have an extra piece, so I'm just going to stick that down on the bottom. Okay, so once you've done that, I'm just going to take a piece. Of, I'm going to make it about 9 inches. I'm just going to cut it down the middle. I'm going to take it, and I'm going to clean up this edge. So doing that, you're just going to do this, and wrap it all around. You might need a little more to wrap it up. Okay, so now that you got that, I'm going to cover the top with cosmic tie-dye. I like cosmic tie-dye. I'm going to make this one about 10 inches. I need to make it long. And we'll clean up the edges again. I wanna, you wanna make it so that it's kind of level with the top there. Okay. And just 
roll it around like this. Okay. Now once you have that, I'm going to take my next one. My last one, because it's not much of my zebra showing. So I'm just going to cover that. Okay, so that's how you make the duct tape cup. And you can put things in it like your exacto knife, your scissors, and your uh, pens and pencils, and all of that stuff. You can put a lot of things in it. Okay, so watch more videos, and subscribe, comment, and share this to your friends. Thanks for watching. Bye.